I've had to make a lot of decisions this year uh, about my business and the direction of my life and certain things like that. And Gary Keller, who's a legendary real estate coach and mentor and entrepreneur, uh, talks about something and he says, I am Gary Keller because I make the hardest decisions, meaning who he hires, who he fires, what he has people underneath him work out. It's not that he's working the most, it's not that he's the smartest person in the room, it's that he makes the hardest decisions. And so that really resonated with me because as I've made decisions in my life, a lot of times I realized I was making decisions just purely based on some you know, mental rationale that I could justify. Was it the right decision? Sometimes it was, a lot of times it wasn't. Why? And the reason was in the decisions that I made just purely using my mind, I was neglecting or, or even just ignoring what my heart was telling me, what my intuition was guiding me towards. And so what I've done over the years and, and really focused on has helped me a lot is first, I'm very clear on my values. I know exactly what it is that I want to achieve, who I want to show up to be in life. And so as the fundamental nature of it, that's already established. Then second, when a decision has to be made, instead of going here first, I go here first. And that's been a big shift for me. So understanding the nature of myself and, and you know, of, the, of the mind is certainly important, but understanding how you feel about something and your intuition, to me, should be the first place to start when you have to make a decision. Check in with yourself, know yourself. And then once you feel that decision, once the intuition kicks in and you understand what it is that you're gonna do, then check in with the mind and say, okay, does this check off? Does this make sense? And I think oftentimes it will. So hopefully this is a nice reshift for, for you and for us to know ourselves even more, we do have to be contemplative, whether it's meditation or journaling, identifying our values, figuring out who we are. Because if we don't know who we are, it's kind of hard to check in with our hearts and our intuition. And you know, by doing this first, then going here second, we avoid the tennis match in the head of should I do this, should I do that, should I do this, should I do that? And that is energy draining and in these days we need to preserve our energy and make the decision and move on. And that's how we make lots of hard decisions. So hopefully that resonates with you and wishing you guys the best.